Hi you guys and welcome to my channel. I'm back with a new reaction video and we're gonna check out Mike Tyson's professional debut when he was 18 years old. So I'm not gonna ramble or anything. Let's get straight into this video. All right, let's go. Welcome back to Big Fight Recaps here on BLTV Classic. I, I, you can't, I can't help it who you are. You have to go down because there's a law when Mike Tyson hits you. On this channel, we take a trip back through time to revisit the rich and beautiful history of the sport of boxing. BLTV has one of the most extensive fight libraries globally, yet as we all know, fan recorded collections from VHS just don't cut it by today's standards, which is why we are attempting to use advanced coding and AI technology to enhance and upscale our entire collection, and then present it to you in short, bite-sized pieces of content that we hope will modernize the average boxing fan experience here on YouTube. So this will, you know, display to the kids that, you know, if you work hard, train hard, and work at anything, you can, you can be successful. On today's video, we look back at the professional debut of the legendary heavyweight champion, Iron Mike Tyson. A man who, from the word go, looked set in stone to leave a huge mark in heavyweight history. A terrifying teenager obsessed with executing perfect technique to honor his coach and mentor, oh, Custom Let's get right to it. He was 70. This was 1985, and Custom was uh, 77 years old. Alright. Alright. Despite being on the undercard of the world-ranked contender Kevin Rooney, it was the professional debut of the 18-year-old Mike Tyson that grabbed the attention of boxing fans in the Albany area. Tyson was known as a devastating puncher, even with the headguards on in the amateurs. So once he transitioned to the pros in 1985, fans were eager to see how his skills would transition. From Catskill, New York, weighing 214 pounds, Mike Tyson! The 0-3 Hector Mercedes was chosen as Tyson's first opponent. Not much outside of possibly extending the duration of the fight was expected from him. Tyson landed a big right hand after roughly 60 seconds had passed, whereafter Mercedes shelled up and became a punching bag for the aggressive prodigy. I see. The entire Tyson team was ringside and seemingly happy with what they witnessed. Mike's vicious body assault got the job done in under two minutes, and despite oh, the wow. caliber of opponent being so low, word quickly started to spread of the prospect from New York, well-trained, managed, and determined to make his mark. But everybody don't get up every morning and run, everybody don't go to the gym every morning, and everybody don't have enough discipline to wait in the locker room for two hours or three hours, then go in the ring and do what they've been taught all those years in the gym. And so, that's what separates a champion from a mediocre fighter. But what about talent? Talent? I don't believe in talent. Well, some people, they have talent. That's it's good. It helps when you have talent. As long as you have a lot of determination and willpower, that's all you need. And you, you have to have the will to win. 